Alright everybody, welcome back to the shop. Saturday, probably getting close to noon. I've been out and about buying buying items and uh, working on the wings. I started I started working on the wings. Got them over here on the bench upside down. Right now I'm trying to modify the connectors so that I can use these little 632 Allens with a long shoulder on it. And what I'm doing right now is, ooh, almost dropped it. I'm making little aluminum spacers. Well, let me get it back here. Little aluminum spacers that are gonna slide on, slide on here first. Then it's gonna go through. And then there's gonna be another little spacer on the other side, just so that I've got some thread that I can put a, uh, a lock nut onto. Now, the, uh, these little connectors that are sliding in are uh, getting held in tight by Vibratite. So what Vibratite does, it's something that they, they use in the, air, the, the aircraft industry already. And they also use it in the uh, industrial areas where there's a lot of vibration and they don't want any kind of fasteners loosening up. Sorry about that. Um, just due to vibration. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there too. And once it starts to set up, you can still rotate it. It just makes it difficult. It's not, it's not like Loctite in a way uh, because you, you can unscrew them. Um, it, what it does, it just it keeps them from, from rattling back and forth. Now, once it's up inside here it, it's, and it's bolted in, it can't rotate anyway. But what I'm trying to do is if I need to take the wing struts off uh, for transport, um, then I don't have to worry about those little fasteners backing off going in and then I've got to reset the set the wing each time I do it. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to see how well this this looks and works. I'm trying to find a uh, something that when I put when I put in between the gap here when I put in the gap I want to have something that's going to take up that empty space. So I, I'm going to go with some 3 16 fuel line with the uh, with the hopes that it's going to work, we'll be doing a test on that uh, pretty soon. I'm waiting for the other uh, for the other uh, whatever you want to call it, the little screwy in thing. Um, I'm waiting for that to set up so I can put it in there, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do a test just to see how much uh, that takes out of it. Because right now you can hear the noise because there's just too much slapping back and forth so I want to get rid of that. Now what I did over here because I'm going to make the final couple cuts so you can you can enjoy what I did was I'm cutting because I already drilled through I went over to the uh, to the drill press drilled the number uh, 29 wire size through there so you can see it's pretty much right through the center so what I'm doing with that is that because I don't want to lose them and I want them going straight I glued them to a piece of scrap Luon and uh, a couple pieces of scrap uh, spruce epoxy that in place or not epoxy super glued it in <coughs> and I've got this set up for a hundred thousandths of an inch pass so I'm hoping one two three four five I'm hoping I'm going to get eight out of this. Uh, I'm probably going to come up one short, but isn't that the way things normally go here? So, let me fire the machine up and we'll finish cutting until we run out. Feeling the last one might do that, so I'm gonna have to cut two more. So I'll have to drill. It wasn't enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was the last one. If, if I needed to, maybe I'll make this last one work. It's, it's 
might not be the prettiest one, but I think it'll work. That way I don't have to drill another one. But here's what they look like when they're done. And all I gotta do is just take my fingers and pop them out. So, so now I got a bunch of these little things, so let me uh, let me put everything together and I'll bring you back uh, just to see how well everything worked out. So I'm up here. So bring it right back. Alright, we're back. Here, before I go ahead and screw this in, here's the viper tight again. And this is what it looks like when it's uh, when it's on. It just kind of it's. I mean, you can grab it. You can the the beautiful stuff about this. The beautiful part about this is you can put it on here and leave it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't go bad. It doesn't. It, so you can leave it on there just for. So say that you wanted to set these things up. You can let them. You can let them sit for weeks and weeks uh, at a time before you use them. So anyway, let's get you back down here. See if we get this in pretty close. All right, here it is with a little piece of rubber, with the rubber tubing put in. Let me take you off the stand real quick. Here it is with the rubber tubing already put on. As you can see, it's not going anywhere, and that little rattling sound is all gone. So this one might be a little oversized, but that's what I'm going to do, um, just so that uh, just so that the problem. The last thing you want is this thing rattling around when it's up in the air. So anyway, let's go back to this little thing. Let's take this. This was a, a one and a half turns out of being all the way in. So, as you can see, you can screw it in by hand. It's going to set up a little bit tougher once you get on the inside and let it sit for a little bit. But you can see that takes a good amount of work to get it screwed in. Okay, so we got to go half, one, and then this will just go ahead and I'll get another bolt and run that through and then uh, do the same thing I did on this side on that side. And then, uh, I don't know, I think at this point I can start taking stuff off. I'll take this off uh, I'll take the aileron off, finish dressing the aileron the way I want it to on the ends, make the decision, and then, uh, you know what I'll probably do before I do that, I'll take this off, spin it around, I gotta set up the, uh, the servo, uh, servo horns back here, and the servo inside here on this, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a day, I think, of just working on the, uh, the wings get an aileron servo mounted, get this mounted, then I'll take this all apart and see uh, see how much I can get done on this today because it's, uh, like I said, this is all the little stuff. All the little stuff that just takes a lot of time where you kind of wish you had people working for you because I could have three or four guys working on this and, you know, you get four days worth of work done in one. So, it's not the way things work down here in the shop. There's not enough room. So anyway, um, I'll get everything set up and I'll bring it back in uh, as I progress in through the uh, through the afternoon. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's been the end of a very long day. Had to pull the stuff from outside back to inside because for a day where it really wasn't supposed to rain, there it is. It rained. So well, anyway, it's just, uh, you know, it's typical weather around here. So anyway, here's what I really did today. Um, it looks like I did a lot of not much, uh, but I was getting a lot of stuff done today. Had to do a little more research on a couple things. Um, if you can hear that little bit of noise, I've got a servo hooked up to the wing. So I'm going to show you what I did. So anyway, uh, I had to do a couple little couple little options, had to contact a friend of mine uh, to find out what I want to do with the ailerons because in, uh, in, in real life the ailerons are, uh, and I'll show you, it's, it's, I'm going to make the change on it. Let me just get you started off with this. Alright, I am running digital servo in here 
So this thing you're going to notice, see if I can lean it so it won't fall over. It's going to be real sketchy because it's so overly sensitive and these cheap little servo testers, um, it, it, it doesn't like the voltage I'm running through it and it doesn't like the digital servo so it's kind of, it's kind of, but anyway it does move. Here's a, uh, here's full up. And, it, and, it's, and it's twitching because it's actually hitting the, the stops on it. So right now, so that's full up. We're probably, you know, pretty close to 45. And full down is the same. So I've got a whole lot of travel in the servo. So, um, so I'll be happy. It's going to... Uh, it should it should work quite nicely um, for a good roll rate uh, for a sloppy old plane. So anyway, here's kind of what, and I'm probably going to do it just because I kind I, I feel I need to. These little patches that I put in in real life, this is not where how the hinges look. It's not something that looks finished, even with this little piece of, I mean, I still got a filler to put in there. So I still have some work to do. On the real plane, where, where the hinge mounts to on the aileron, it's completely open to that point. So the whole top of it is gonna, is, needs to be opened up to make it scale. Um, you know, I really didn't want to do that because that uh, you're going to get a little more air passage between there which is going to dirty up the air a little bit the plane itself is a slow flying airplane this one will also be a relatively slow flying airplane it's it's going to it's going to be a beast in the air i don't think there's going to be an issue with this i think what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this out so this one will be cut, this one will be cut. I still got a couple, little, put a little fills in here. I really don't have to, but I, I probably will. Um, like I said, with this, I gotta figure out what I wanna do. So I still have a little bit of dress up to do here. This one, this little tab that I put on the end of it is not supposed to be there anyway. I just did it just to, just to dress it up. So all of this will come out. So it's just gonna be an open L shape at the end. That's the way the plane is in real life so that's what it's going to do so anyway so that's going to get taken care of here's what i did uh for the for the push pull rod for the aileron um i, I don't like using for something that's going to be this big and heavy i want something that's going to be a little more robust something that's not really going to want to flex i i i've got some and I don't even know what this is. It's probably going to be close to a three mil, three millimeter hole in the middle of this. Um, but it's it's carbon fiber, so it's really strong, and it doesn't want to flex. I've used this stuff before on on big planes, and it works great. So I'm just going to take it, and um, I'm doing the same thing. So I'll make another one of these things for the other side. This is just some 440 rod. That I cut long it's probably each piece of, uh, of rod is probably about that long so we're probably looking about an inch and a quarter long and that's put down inside here and let me see if I can rotate it and you can see it right here if you can see me get out of light if you can see the little teeny dab what I do is I drill a little teeny hole with a with a 16th drill bit drill one hole through it so when you epoxy this down inside, the epoxy is actually coming into this little hole. So it's doing two things. It keeps it from rotating and wants to keep it from pulling out. So, um, and I also scuff up the inside of this too, just to give it some tooth for it to bite into. So I'm not really expecting any issues with this. The other thing I did, and I didn't finish it off, was I decided that I'm gonna need to extend this piece. I'm dropping stuff on the floor, sorry about that. Because when this gets covered, I don't want it. I don't want it to be open. I want the the covering to attach to something here. 
So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I just took some balsa and here they are. I'm going to have to rip some more for the other side too. And this is just cut to length to come down inside. And then I've got to cut this groove out just for it to slide down inside. So once this is down inside here like these, you got a really good spot to glue to. And we're just going to call it a done deal. I'm never expecting to have to pull these things apart. It's cranked down. Uh, it's all snugged up. And behind this plywood, there is more solid plywood. So there's, so you're not going to have to worry any, really worry about any more compression, um, because it, it's just something that I just I don't see anything loosening up. Hopefully, see, I had to throw in the word hopefully. So anyway, that was uh, that was the, the big part of my day was trying to figure this system out and uh, and how I want to progress with with this. So. So the, it, I got, I wanted to get both of these wings done today and uh, it just, it wasn't going to happen because I had to spend so much time working the prototype. So anyway, I don't think there's going to be any music in this, in this video. So I apologize to everybody that likes the music. It, with, when I had to pull everything inside uh, by midday, actually it was before midday I had to pull everything inside. Um, it's just hard for me to put together a speedy up video on this stuff because I spent more time going, hmm, and less time working. So anyway, um, that's about it for today. It's it's after seven o'clock and uh, I got Wednesday off and next no nah, next Sunday Monday that's that's vacation that's Labor Day so. Um, I mean, do I think this is going to be done by the end of September? I hope so. I don't think so now, though. Um, so it's just I keep getting put a little day, a couple days behind. Um, but I'm going to keep uh, keep pushing forward. That's all I can really do on this one. So hopefully, uh, hopefully within uh, hopefully within a month, it's going to be all covered and painted. And uh, you know, if I had to spend an extra day just doing the final. Uh, uh, I still gotta, I still gotta work on the, work on the motor. I gotta make a motor stand, cause I think I want to fire that thing up, um, before I uh, mount it to the plane. I, I, I'll probably just wait and mount it to the plane because it's. Sorry about that. I got a gnat in here. Um, just because the plane is so heavy, I just think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good enough base to. To strap the motor on and just go ahead and fire it up. Heck, I could probably do it the way it is right now with an open frame and it's still going to uh, so still be fine. So anyway, I'll chat to you later. You have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.